Today in this video, IRS is still processing, your tax return is still being processed. Well guys, there are many people right here into the community getting this, your tax return is still being processed. Now what's this all about? Now whether the IRS refund date is for February 22nd or February 23rd, many of you have been asking for your refunds and if you are wondering where your refund is at, well here is an important update right here in this video. Today in this video, I'll be providing you an latest IRS tax refund update. So whether you are getting this status on irs to go or WMR, we have received your tax return and it is being processed or alternatively you might be getting your tax return is still being processed, a refund date will be provided when available. Now if you are getting tax refund, we cannot provide any information and now that we all know that IRS Path Act has been lifted, seeing this refund status on irs to go that return is still being processed makes us kind of a worry but don't worry guys because today in this video we have got all the latest details also many people are waiting for their refunds whether it's from cash app chime chase wells fargo emerald card bank of america navy federal cash app chime well guys we have got some bank deposit timing dates whether your direct deposit date is for 22nd of the february or 23rd of the february also there are few people getting no information now what do these messages mean we have got all the latest updates in this video so let's get right into it now guys millions of americans have filed their tax return and now waiting for their tax return to be processed and refund payment to be made now iris guidelines said that 9 out of 10 refunds should be processed within just 21 days but many taxpayers have found that simply this is not the case they have been waiting for weeks even several months including prior tax years without getting an update on their tax return status without much success now many people are getting these kind of errors on iris to go or where is my refund page they have either got this status your return is still being processed a refund date will be provided when available also few people are getting we have received your tax return and it's being processed and now we all know that power tax has been lifted there should be no reason to hold refunds so what's really going on let's check it out now they either got a vague message and the course on the refund tracker tool or tax transcript or it might be saying that irs cannot provide any information to that tax return which is still being processed and in fact after the path mandated restriction has been lifted up the refund payments should have been approved and many filers are still reporting that going from the path act message this is the message according to the path act IRS cannot issue this refund before mid-february so from this error message if you are getting this message where it's basically saying your tax return is still being processed or return processing has been delayed beyond normal time frame now let's check out what these error messages mean now tax returns still being processed versus tax return being processed what do they mean now as you can see from some of the where is my refund irs to go screenshots right over here there is a subtle difference in the meaning of the refund processing and one of the status message uh, right over here you can see it start with the first line that your tax return is still being processed and the other variation of that same message is we have received your tax return and it is still being processed now the word still is the key difference having the significant implication on a first glance doesn't seem that different but the word still is the key difference that can have a significant implication now if you see still being processed it likely means your return process has been delayed beyond the 21 day standard timeline and you need to check your transcript where you can get more details it will be likely that you'll see the code 571 now what is code 571 well it will likely delay or lower your refund is that the case well let's check it out now the code 571 resolved additional account action means when your tax code is 571 it means freeze is resolved or you get 572 resolved additional account action which means your liability balance goes to zero dollars due to resolution of the issue and a final notice 971 will be issued for the resolution so these sets of code you might expect now how long this will delay your refund well additional reviews take like 45 to 60 days however recent tax season due to processing delays and backlogs it could be 90 to 120 days so probably if delays extend beyond 60 days most of the times it extends delays due to the math errors mainly for the paper tax returns return reconciliation errors and additional security identity verification issues with the credits being claimed or injured spouse claims or for dependents you may be claiming right here in this situation you'll need irs to complete their automated manual review 
use after they will send out uh, applicable notices and this will take few more weeks until you see the code 846 refund issued on your tax transcript and refund will be set to the status on where is my refund website now if you don't see the word still and it just has the message we have received your tax return and it is being processed there is no still word right over here then it's a good sign that means your tax return and refund should be paid within 21 days unless other issues are found during the processing now if you are getting tax refund we cannot provide any information this is particularly the message many tax peers see immediately after filing their tax return after several months of the processing status message this is normally indicating that irs has not started processing your return or has hit a major roadblock or a systematic issue preventing them from processing your tax refund further now you normally have to wait like 24 to 48 hours to get latest refund status so if you see the message above uh, right over here it means that you should wait and check back in a day or two later nothing wrong with your return or refund and your refund should follow the normal irs schedule however if it has been a several weeks and you see this message then right here into the line we cannot provide any information about your refund be sure to verify your filing date check your tax preparer tax software provider verify you received electronically file acknowledgement then you should follow the prompts or the guidelines on the message look for the irs notices in the mail for the more information if you use the tax preparer or accountant you should contact them to confirm if they filed the information with the correct information and they should also forward this irs acknowledgement email for e-filing your return now what irs is doing to manually resolve this delayed tax return with errors now in many of the cases irs can process resolve this tax returns with errors without having to contact their taxpayers for things like mistakes or overpayments with recent stimulus check that is the recovery rebate credit now however this is a still manual process uh, irs agents has to do a detailed review of the return and collaborate with the other third party sources information like employer or other government agencies this will result in you seeing a return has been delayed beyond a normal time frame message as shown right over here so you know what this is a special or manual handling process which is handled by a separate department that causes tax return processing and refund payment taking more than 21 days now based on the several of the issues these delay could add several weeks when you hear them back from the irs and you see your refund payment now most of the errors are flagged systematically due to reconciliation errors in the returns and other documents for the posting irs master file which is processed in daily cycles now speaking of how long will the extra processing delay your refund well in a recent operation update irs has confirmed that 98 percent of the regular paper and electronic refund returns received for the 2021 tax year has been processed if the return has no errors and did not require further review that is the special handling however irs has stated that it has nearly 7 million unprocessed individual tax return including 2021 returns with errors may require special handling and additional reviews for more processing delays this one includes amended tax return recovery rebate credit corrections validation of prior year income to figure out earned income tax credit or additional child tax credit now irs has confirmed that manual processing could add another 90 to 120 days as per their standard processing timeline which has been exacerbated by ongoing staffing shortage now after you see a update code 846 on your tax transcript your refund processing is complete once your refund is complete and you see estimated direct deposit date then that should align with the payment date irs refund tracker tool and you'll see your final refund in your account shortly around this date now if a correction is made on recovery rebate credit eitc or actc claimed on your tax return then irs will send a taxpayer explanation via mail and if you don't agree then you can appeal also regarding suspected identity theft or fraud delaying refunds irs cannot confidently identify taxpayers based on their return they have filed they will send you a letter taxpayers will address on a file to complete any required verification and irs letter is cleared to fraud flags and re-verify your identity this could add several weeks and multiple rounds of correspondence to get final resolution and there are specific tax codes which will show up on your refund if you are under a fraud alert and you'll see and you'll need to follow irs letter to clear fraud flags and re-verify your identity make sure to subscribe to our channel how to guys with all the bell notification we have got tons of updates coming on a daily basis and guys this is kedar from how to guys sign now